welcome to another review for the month ended January 31st. My name is Ambrose Omodio. We are looking at the market performance for the month of January and the outlook for February as we have crossed over to the new month. If you look at the market performance for the month of January, you say so far the market has remained up despite adding a, you know, a little pullback in the last trading week of the month. And the factors that are responsible for this pullback are many, which I told them in Abuja uh, seminar that we need to wait for the outcome of the MPC meeting. You know, since that meeting was held and the, the CBN or the monetary policy members voted for an adjustment in cash reserve ratio or cash reserve requirement, you know, market has reacted negatively to that uh, you know, decision. And what does that mean? It does not mean that once they said cash reserve ratio is adjusted, that means CPN has shifted the bar for more money to be you know, to be held back from the commercial bank. Indirectly, money in circulation will, will drop because CBN took solution after they have studied the, uh, the, the market, the economic report of uh, December for inflation. Saying that inflation has gone to all time high of 11.98. Uh, and you know, when inflation is moving in that direction, it's not too good for the economy. Then the CBN or the monetary policy decided to start to curtail the money in circulation. That means so that to reduce you no know, monetary induced inflation. And that note, that decision was taken. Also, knowing that. CBN has also retained the loan to deposit ratio, which is clear. They've done that effectively for 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 the real economic growth that was seen to be sustained. So that the bank will not you know, withdraw lending to the private sector. You know the, the few positive economic indicators we have seen is as a result of you know, this policy of more, um, loan to uh, loan to deposit ratio that started in September last year and it was held to even as we speak now it has helped to move on from the bank coffer to what to the to the public to the risk sector to the private sector that you know it is this fund that you use to drive work productivity when there is no fund productivity will also be dragging feet with this policy we have seen little improvement in our economic data and which we believe it will go a long way to sustain the economy going forward. On that note, CBN said, "Okay, we can't you know, toil with this policy, this uh, uh, measure or decision or, or, or decision we are taking." They decided to look the way of you no know, cash reserve ratio just to withdraw, you no know, to let funds going out, you no know, monetary funds to come down a little, and also don't forget that they still retain the restriction on OMU, which you know the implication on. On the financial market, that means all the mature, all the maturing uh, OMO investment will not be invested back to what to the OMO, OMO window or the uh, TB, uh, TB, uh, what is it, TB, uh, what is it, Treasury B. On that note, we expect that despite the reaction we saw last week, going forward into the new month, we expect an adjustment. This adjustment will come as a result of one. The earnings season we are expecting. The so far earnings we have seen. So far, the earnings we have seen in this same uh, in this same month of January, and also a particularly in the last trading week, of, it was as a result of companies trying to comply to the new rule of NSC and uh, SEC. Said that they can release. You know, it has been on ground that after the end of a quarter, you can release your quarter result within 30 days at the end of that quarter. Knowing that the fourth quarter ended December. And January is the, the ideal month for them to release the results, and they all comply to release their third quarter. In the process, they release unaudited financials forward for 2019. That unaudited finance that come because those numbers are coming without dividends attached, without reward for investor. Knowing that I have said earlier in this program that the 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 March any season is the peak of Nigeria stock market any season. Why is the peak? We have other quarters that, that results come. It, 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 it becomes the peak because of 
it comes with reward. Most of the companies that had the same by year end, this is the period they pay their dividend. And every investor, even other market players, want to use this dividend period to, to create wealth and at the same time to reshuffle their portfolio. And because the number that, that came in the month of, of January were, were released without reward, without corporate action, you see, market reaction was almost flat, no reaction to that number. But rather, for me, such numbers have given design investor an insight what to do going forward. Knowing that also that if you look at the global economy, market has also slowed down as a result of the ravaging of the virus that emanated from China. It's also threatening the global economy and the market. You can see that market and the global economy have also been missed for the for the week that for the last week of uh, of uh, January when the number of deaths continue to rise on a daily basis globally and uh, even come back home here if you look at the, the ravaging insecurity issue you know and also this last half ever here all these things are things that are, you see is affecting the market indirectly or directly you also as an investor should consider which area of the market should i put my phone what will i do at this point and also because of the adjustment in the last MPC meeting, you can see that the Treasury B has also adjusted a little, but still in the range of uh, five to six percent, which is still also low to to attract a uh, low to to discourage a lot of investors to invest in Treasury B. Or let's do that are risk avert. There are some investors that they don't want to take risk at all, and because they don't want to, risk, their return also will remain small. It will remain small. Why I say remain small? If you if you don't want to take risk. The, your re, your return on investment will still remain at the ambit of on that you no know, territory that you don't want to take risk. That is why you see some people will still want to go and invest in Treasury bill of uh, you no know, waiting for three hundred sixty five days. We're expecting five to six percent return. For me, it's not a good investment window for now, unless you don't they, those that have big money. Yes, those that have big fund, those that are high network individual that has big one and PFE that don't want to take risk can still go there and be waiting, expecting that this policy will change. And at the same time, this policy that came on Friday after the NPC meeting has little move from you no know, interest rate and treasury be now from five to six percent, which is also not not uh, too attractive. And uh, for me, investors should target where you have a dividend yield of almost twelve percent, thirteen percent, twelve percent, thirteen percent for twenty. That is above even the inflation that we say it is ravaging. That is you no know, on the on the on on the on the rising. That such environment should be where it should be if you are a risk taker and at the same time you take calculated risk, you don't just invest for investing stake. This number that were released, as I'm saying, for for the fourth quarter and not the full year, are giving investors insight of where to be and how to reposition their portfolio. That's why I see that there was nearly a, a almost a set down for the week. A set down or a correction or a pullback, anything I want to call it. That period that week people were trying to adjust their portfolio. Where should fund you know? It's expected that in my investment you reallocate your asset, your your balance, your portfolio because you have seen another information coming from the regulator. For me, equity market remains best for those that are know how to play the market. If you look at the month, if you look at the, for almost two years, the market has been on a downtrend. If you draw this trend line here, you see that market have suffered losses for almost two years. But in in the month of in the month of uh, December market month of uh, november the market you no know, turned green in december it, it went down but almost it closed red but for the month of the market break out the down down trend curve the market was out from this curve giving a sign of recovery and this sign of recovery is what we see that the the change in policy from even the from cbn from um just stock exchange has also helped the market here at the changing pattern the buying pattern of the market change that's why in december the Santa Claus rally that we expected also do not really show because day traders we are using the market moving the market up in during the day and that towards the end of the market the, the market they set down to take profit it was only just the end of the year rally that was sustained for three days and that usher in the january you no know, uptrend what we just saw in the month of january before no taking a uh, people taking a uh, you no know, profit in the last trading week of the month of January, so because of policy change and at the same time the the ravaging world you no know, virus you no know, globally and even locally and insecurity around market shape. But for me, since that the numbers we're expecting are already for the year ended twenty twenty nineteen. 
you know that yes france also is on the on the downside leaving the market because of this uh, set down for the last week of of uh, january but if you look at the money flow index for the month for the month of uh, for the month of january you can see that the the the, the chart is showing that front is still entering the market or front have entered the market for the month of for the month of uh, january are still look at things looking low but if you go on a weekly chart we can see that funds has also left the market for the for the sign that funds are leaving the market already as the money flow index is looking down but at 73 percent it says that their funds stay in the market but if you go on daily on daily chart see that it was massively down the way the fund left the market for the last trading week of the month of January. You can see, you can see. And also, if you look at your Bollinger Band here, you see it's getting tight, and the price action or index action has already hit the lower, the lower Bollinger Band, which is also a sign of what a rebound. But this one is depending on the market what direct or the market forces as the market opened this week. I, I told you earlier on this program that you are entering the month of any season proper this any season is one that are coming with what with a, a corporate action dividend declaration from different different company but the one what we saw in the month of january was fourth quarter on a detailed result and in the process on a detailed uh, on a detailed full year where among the number were released but those on a detailed full year has given designing uh, designing designing investor an idea and insight what should be expected from the the companies that have released results so far you have seen even the company that have released good results the market do not react because it didn't you know no dividend was accompanying the, the number that were released once this company start announcing their uh, their dividend and other corporate action you see that market will respond to it yes the liquidity level as to speak will still be there because more almost going to mature going forward into this new new month of uh, february and the one that matured in uh, in uh, in january most of the players or former managers are still waiting to see how market will react. But as I told you earlier, a market that is having you know, an average dividend yield of a uh, dividend yield of uh, between 6.18 and uh, between 5.8 to 6.18 now to speak is very very what heavy for every for every form of investment decision that you want to take, either for long for short term, you can look the way of the market as to speak now and position. Because once we enter once we have entered this month of in, uh, February, we expect companies to look at the, those early filers for full year, and you can see that those early filers for year did not release their 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 fourth quarter because it is optional. It said that you release your fourth quarter for for 2019 ended December in January, and also subsequently before the end of March 31st, you release your full year. But those that are early filers, you check their 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 number. They are not among those who have released the fourth quarter. They've even submitted some of them have submitted. They are, they are they are shareholder their directors have met and approved their their annual report for for full year report for 2019 and also there are some have sent to this to the regulators like cbn to approve this uh, this uh, result for them to announce their dividend and those that also that are not sending for anybody to approve like the uh, cap and all that they've also sent their close period that their result is going to come up in february for that investors should know how to position and especially if you want to play the dividend if you are one that want to play the dividend period or earnings this one you should know that you should be in stocks by now in those that you have seen that they've not announced they've, they've not released their their q4 or unaudited that have sent close period their close period and also those that have shown those that you have not seen among those that released their close period uh, that released their unaudited q4 are expected to release their full year within this month of february and when it comes with dividend announced, it's going to, this dividend announcement is going to you know, impact the numbers positively and market marian. And also, it depends on the what on the liquidity in the market. You see that the market fundamental has changed tremendously in the month of January. We, we expect that it will sustain. And what what was the change? It's just because of you no know, monetary um, regulatory policies that were changed also in this in September that have impacted the market. We will see that. This decision that CBN are taking to curtail inflation, and also know that in this month of February, we'll also be looking to see the, the inflation figure for January before the end or before the middle of this uh, month. We'll also be that also give you know, a direction where the market and you know that the next NPC meeting also will be in, in March. 
for that we feel that this february this february will also be a good time for you to play the earnings season between now and the march and also don't forget that by end of march we were expecting the first quarter for 2019 for 2020 sorry for the month of april we said this is any season that you need to play with and this is what drive equity price earnings is what determine price movement either for for the short term or the long term once a company earnings are good and these numbers can support their price in the short term and the long run is going to drive the prices up you need to invest wisely at this point and also we advise that now we are positioned for for the earnings season you need to keep your eyes in the market don't just invest and go to bed watch if the your expectation is not met you quickly cut your loss and move to another another position don't just invest and go and sleep because this earnings season will determine where the price will go and also the good thing that cbn do, one do not adjust the loan to deposit which i've said earlier at the same time they do not you know remove the restriction from from OMO uh, for investing in OMO and Treasury bill for corporate bodies and high network individual despite that the the bond market is trying to come up because they are taking advantage of the new policy that you non know, that like many you no know, state government and corporate body are putting up you no know, opportunity or putting up their bond together to take advantage of this low interest rate is good anywhere where there's low interest related to the, the economy benefit from it it gives a lot of activities a lot of you know, strength to the economy to work to find direction especially our own that have been drinking fit for a long time this low interest rate should you know, wake up the economy and activities and you know that when there's productivity in the economy it will oil the macroeconomy and also when there's productivity and problem to be created and at the same time the money also will be flowing because when there's employment people can end now that you know we're seeing insecurity here and there it is part of what has contributed to uh, inflation hitting uh, nine uh, uh, 11.98 because many farmers we are not in the farm because of what insecurity prices of good, uh, goods were up and also border closure all of them contributed to the inflation but i know as we go into uh, first quarter into this first quarter there will be adjustment in all these things the government will sit up in terms of security the border closure one over the other i think yes we have benefited from it we also need to you know, do something that it will release some pressure on the local goods yes manufacturers has used the opportunity to look in what we have seen this is what we want since we have that let's also adjust so that the economy will remain in a, in a good float and grow in the right direction that we expected like i said earlier in the last program we had in in december and even in january that if you look at the yield curve of nigeria market so that it is now that our yield curve is looking like those matured economy that you see the interest rate is low the interest rate is low no on that note that means we are gradually finding things gradually doing things right yeah, which i i believe if it is sustained it will go a long way to impact the economy yes the the policy of cbn and the the monetary policy and the fiscal need to work together this is the time and i believe that the the presidential economic advising council they are not sleeping they should take decision and advice yes we might not be hearing them talking blah 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 but we need to see what they are doing to harness you no know, to harness this uh, monetary and physical you know, policy to drive the economy once the economy has direction things will work out and everybody will benefit from it on that note we we invite you to if you are staying uh, outside lagos if you are staying in uh, Port Harcourt environment that will be in Port Harcourt on Saturday, the February 8th, you know, to, to, to do what we know how to do. Invest 2020 is moving to Port Harcourt, and I see you there. You know, for you to also to take advantage of the 10 golden stock as to speak, despite the adjustment in the market, the 10 golden stock have given good returns above the market, and also the average return for the, um, the 10 golden stock as to speak now is still above 10 percent, while the market has gone as low as 7.8. Four six percent for for the for January. Why the ten golden stock is above ten percent? It tells you that the market and the stock who have who have who have choose for twenty twenty are still stock that investors can still key in at this point and also expect good results before the end of the year. Also, like in that uh, ten golden stock, we made it clear that in the first one fifty days you should know your position where you have made money you exit to watch the market and you know that the first 50 day will be existing will be a lapping will be expiring or will be coming at end towards the end of april and early uh, early april or no early april early april or late march you know you should take your information serious and 
sell as necessary don't wait until you make 100 percent the only thing this market is that most of our traders or investors who know when to buy who don't know when to sell if once you are entering in any position set a goal that is why an investor that buy and sell signal will always give you your buy range your stop loss and what your what call profit target at that price target price to sell that price, that target once you touch it we are giving you sell a lot that will guide you that i don't see the price of the stock will stick up yes it might go up after selling that does not concern you let other investors that bought let them enjoy it you have meet your target your set go you move most times once you refuse to sell it might come down the next day and if everybody want to exit the stock at a particular time you might not see buyer that is why just have a goal when you are entering any position set a goal for yourself and if you achieve that goal come out immediately your goal you can see that what is happening in the in the, in the morning market and the fixed income market you see in for a whole year you see uh, you know, a, 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 a rate of uh, or yield for 7.14 percent for the fixed income you see higher there 12 percent you see nine percent for for trade for fixed income bond but if you go to treasury the, the maximum for a whole year three hundred sixty-four day is six percent are you going to you know if you are making three hundred twelve for then in, in in 40 in 40 days in one, one 90 days in 80 days you are making 12 percent you are making 30 percent what stop you for not existing if you analyze what you are made for no, 40 days about 25 percent is far far better than you no know, staying in, in an investment of uh, um of a uh, six percent in three and sixty five the job because you don't want to take risk or you need to take a quality risk buy stores that has fundamental that in case even decision your decision go the market will against you you can look at okay the dividend yield alone can give you a good return if you look at the 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 the, uh, the banking sector these are the sectors that really pay dividend and if you look at the dividend in there you see that most of the dividend money is above what Ever money market can return for you. That means you should take a wise decision and know where your money should be at this point. Thank you and God bless you.